game right here. And, well, I just finished Bernice. And by that, I mean, I already did finish Bernice a day ago, if you couldn't believe it or not. But I realized that Two Piece Inferno is better than Two Piece Freedoms. Yeah. So, fire damage is better than 30 plus AP. So, I had to rebuild her for like a day. But now, um, she's basically ready to go. And now I can actually finally showcase her in her true potential. So, um, I have to show her banner, um, because I, I have to, of course. But, um, she is still currently out, um, to this, uh, well, by the time I am, like, recording this video, of course, she is still out. And by the time it is uploaded, she'll, I think she'll be, like, um, maybe, like, nine days or eight days or basically around, um, those types of days where she's still out. So, um, well, this, uh, showcase video will probably maybe convince you to pull for her. If not, then you probably might save for another character. Um, either way, I'm just here to just showcase the agent. And for this agent showcase, of course, it's going to be Bernice White. So, um, well, without any further ado, let's just, um, well, let's just cut to it. Uh, this is the Bernice showcase. And starting off with the showcase, I'm going to be showcasing her build. All right. So here is my Bernice build. So you probably already noticed something. Um, yeah, she's not at level 60. But, um, I am playing Tilver up to level 60. But, um, as always for my showcase videos, as long as they're level 50, um, with minimally built talents and, uh, core, uh, they are basically viable for a showcase. As long as they are, of course, have their disc sets fully built and, um, the other stuff I mentioned before, the level and then the, uh, skills. So, yeah, um, she's basically already, uh, ready to be showcased. So, um, yeah, uh, but, uh, anyways, enough about that. Time to showcase the stats of my, uh, Bernice build. So, uh, my Bernice build right here is basically, um, I guess I basically got it to the maximum it could possibly be, I guess. Um, at least in my opinion. Because, well, here it is. Yeah, 2k attack. 350 AP. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, if you want to maximize, um, your Bernice stats, all you need is basically 300 AP because if you look at her, uh, skills and her core, uh, when you are at, um, basically, uh, with the core right here, um, you get, uh, 30% damage and you get 1% for every 10 AP. So if you do the math, 10 times 30 equals 300. So all you need is 300 AP. And that's basically it. So yeah, um, 300 AP should be sufficient enough to give you the maximum um, afterburner damage uh, for Bernice. But um, of course, uh, just like every other anomaly agent, um, all AP is really, really good. You can even go to 400 if you want. But um, you also have to keep in mind that she scales off of attack because her core right here scales off of attack right here. As you see there in max core, it's 350%. So um, that is what I basically did right there. So I basically got her to around 2k attack with uh, over 300 uh, AP. Uh, for me, I just went above and beyond. I just gave her a lot of attack with a lot of AP, of course. Um, she doesn't really need energy regen, but if you do want her to consistently have her EX, you can opt for energy regen. But um, for the most part, you want to go for um, anomaly masteries for more uh, burn buildup because burn does so much damage. But um, here are the raw stats right here. As see there, uh, high attack with um, Anomaly Mastery, with AP Energy Regen from her core, because that is her core level up. And Fire Damage Bonus, of course, because the more Fire Damage Bonus you have, the more damage you're able to do off-field with Bernice. So yeah, um, as for the skills right here, um, as I said before, she is basically at the bare minimum right here. We have uh, Core Level 5, it's not Core Level 7, unfortunately. Um, and we also have uh, skill level 7s right there. So um, as for the priority of their skills that you want to level up and also what I basically did, um, I just leveled up core first because that is what her main bread and butter is. If you level up her core, she just does more damage off field. Yeah, her afterburn just does more damage. Um, it scales really, really high, 350% of Bernice's attack, which is also the reason why I gave her high attack again, because she scales off of attack, uh, for her afterburner damage. Um, she also does have, um, 
AP to spare too. Um, again, as I said before, if you want to uh, level up your AP, you should get it to at least 300 so you can get the maximum 30% damage of Afterburner. So not only are you going to be uh, doing a lot of damage, but because Bernice has such a high attack scale, you can just basically um, do a bunch of Afterburner damage. Of course, um, also, it's really important to level up Core, of course, because it also gives her energy regen. Yes, you need your energy regen. Energy regen is extremely, extremely good. It means that she's able to reapply her fuel state, um, especially since she is going to be running out pretty, pretty um, frequently. So, uh, yeah, uh, just have some uh, energy regen from her Core. You don't really need it on discs unless you really do want it. But yeah, um, that's what I basically did. So yeah, um, just level up core. As for the uh, skills, the main priority you want to level up, of course, is her EX. Her EX is, um, does a lot of damage, and I mean a lot of damage. She also um, is using EX to fuel up her fuel state uh, to basically 100 heat. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, there's also other uh, skills that you want to level up besides EX, of course. Her basic is really, really good. It's a way for her to apply the nitro fuel state on an enemy so you can trigger afterburner. So yeah, it's extremely good. She also has uh, her ult. Her ult is actually extremely, and I mean extremely, extremely unique because you get also on top of the damage you're able to do and also the free afterburner effect that you get because when you do um, hit an opponent with this, you get afterburner. You also get a quick assist. So not only that, um, if you trigger the quick assist, you're able to extend Bernice's damage. So yeah, it's extremely, extremely, extremely important that you want to level up these three because these three are extremely, extremely good to her uh, gameplay, which is what I did. Basically, I leveled up EX basic ult first before I leveled up these two with the spare mats I have. So yeah, um, that's basically uh, well my synopsis on these skills right there. As for equipment right here, um, I have her basic necessities, really. Um, as I said before, uh, if you do want to, and um, you probably are still probably farming for her disc set, maybe, uh, you should probably go for a uh, plus 30 AP, aka the Freedom Blues set. Freedom Blues, um, if you really do want to, is um, viable. But um, if you want her best best set, then of course, uh, two-piece Infernal Metal. Yeah. Um, because the fire damage is just really consistent. Plus 10% fire damage is nothing to scoff at. It means that she's just able to do more afterburner damage. So yeah, it's just really, really consistent across the board for her. As for her best 4P set, of course, it is Chaos Jazz. It's the newest set for her. Um, it boosts her damage off field, especially since she is going to be hitting EXs a lot with um, assist damage, of course. It's just extremely, extremely, extremely good. It's super, super, super busted um, since she is, of course, a off-field sub-DPS. Um, so, yeah. As for her weapon right here, I gave her her signature W engine, which is the Flame Maker Shaker. It is not fully maxed out yet, but um, I am planning to max it out in the future. But I'm still building other characters. So, yeah. Um, but uh, level 40 should still be sufficient enough for her to... Uh, showcase so yeah as you see here it gives her energy regen increases the damage she also gets free ap which is pretty nice as well it just helps her out with a lot of her damage so yeah and as for the uh mc mindscape cinema or mindscape ever at m0 um she doesn't really need uh mindscape cinema to be really good she's already good right off the bat so yeah, um, you can literally just use her without Mindscape. But um, for those hardcore Bernice fans, um, uh, well, uh, happy news, uh, good news is that, uh, well, she has really good Mindscapes if you are trying to be going for those. Because look at this. Yeah, uh, Fire Anomaly buildup with uh, increased heat limit, meaning that she's able to do her sub DPS damage longer. And I'll just show you one more. Um, Right here, afterburner effect will basically stack, which is really, really busted. She also gets more pen ratio and also gets thermal penetration. Yeah, that's really, really busted. So, yeah, um, really nothing for me to say there other than uh, if you really are a hardcore Bernice fan, then definitely go for those Mindscape Cinemas because, of course, it combos with her core. So, yeah, that's basically it. And that is my Bernice build. Um, as you see there, it's just pretty simple, really. I mean, it's just 
typical Bernice, right? So yeah. Well, anyways, um, enough about me uh, talking about the build. It's time to put that build into practice. It's time to showcase Bernice in some teams. So uh, well, without any further ado, uh, let's just go to the uh, HDD and uh, go through some battles with her. All right, here we are in the HDD with some uh, hard mode combat. So um, I am going to be choosing Hole in the Mole for um, this showcase. And that's because if we go into Chapter 4 here um, and go into the story mode um, with Pompeii and such. Uh, spoilers, by the way, if you haven't fought Pompeii. But um, this uh, particular uh, commission takes forever. And I don't want you guys to uh, uh, keep you guys here for long um, for each uh, character or team showcase. So I am just going to be choosing a short one right here. Um, it should suffice enough to showcase um, how good they are. Um, especially since it just means that they're able to clear the content fast, which is pretty nice overall. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, the first team I'm going to be showcasing here is currently, in my opinion, the best team in the game, which is the Disorder team. Yeah, this team. So, uh, well, it has Jane, Caesar, Bernice, and then Bang Volver for the physical damage, of course, for the physical anomaly. Um, since Bernice is able to just do damage off field and also able to do anomaly build up really fast, especially since um, her cord literally gives her more anomaly build up, uh, she works great on the disorder team. You're going to be triggering a lot of disorders. And, uh, well, uh, enough about me talking about it. It's time to actually show it right here, right now. So, um, yeah, uh, this team is really 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 busted you'll, you'll see why all right Safe for now. it's time <laughs> okay so i am gonna be parrying with caesar first um just so i could uh get the uh proto bonus right there we, we just got the proto bonus all right we're going to be doing the charge there we go now uh we have afterburner on um, you can tell we have afterburner if you see the uh, flame on the enemy. So yeah, um, that's how you can tell we have afterburner on the enemy. But uh, well, uh, it looks like uh, it, he is taking pretty good damage right there. Um, we are probably going to be uh, using EX at some point to just get more fuel right there. We got some fuel. Um, we can just do Caesar thing. Why not? All right, Bernice. So we can go into Jane, into Caesar, and we should be good. Yeah, but look at that damage. That is really, really busted damage right there. Yeah, we just finished them off like instantly. All right, we're going to be doing Bernice again. All right, uh, he is tagged right now, so we can just um, wail on him, and we should be fine. All right, let's do the parry. Let's do this. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we can just um, go into Jane. I think Jane should just finish it off right here. If not, then yeah. All right. Looks like Bernice might finish it off. There we go. Yeah. As you see there, it is really busted. It's super, super, super busted. You saw the damage she, she did there. She literally like melted the enemy. That's how broken Bernice is. So yeah. Well, um... That is not all that we have to showcase because we still have to showcase more teams with her. Um, since she is going to be the core of Disorder teams, we're going to be showcasing her with a bunch of um, elements and uh, attributes, uh, not just physical. So, well, uh, on to the next uh, Disorder team. All right, uh, here we are with the next and final uh, Anomaly team before we get into Sons of Caledon with Piper. Um, yes, I am going to be showcasing a different team for Piper. But um, Electric is the only other Anomaly um, team that we have left. Electric uh, Fire, of course. Um, because, well, uh, here are your list of Anomaly agents in the game. You have Jane, you have Piper, and then you have Grace right here. Um, if I could pull her up right there. Grace. And then, well, we have Bernice, but we're showcasing Bernice, so she doesn't count. So yeah, there's literally only like four Anomaly agents in the game. But since Anomaly is basically the meta right now, currently, um, yeah, uh, I have to showcase these Anomaly uh, Disorder teams. But um, since uh, Bernice is extremely good on Disorder team, she is basically the core of it, since she is just going to be doing off-field damage like for most of the uh, duration of the battle. Uh, this is going to be extremely good. Just like the Jane team, Grace is just going to be uh, prov uh, providing with a bunch of shocks and support and whatnot. So yeah. 
Um, as for the partner that would link up with them, it would be Ben or Kaleida. Of course, Kaleida is going to be better than Ben, but Ben is the free-to-play option, and I don't have Kaleida, so yeah, Ben, Ben should do. Um, of course, for the uh, best Bang Boo for them, it's going to be Safety. Safety has Burning Shocked. Yeah, nothing to be said. Literally combos with both of them. So yeah, we're going to be choosing Safety right here. And we're going to be going into this battle. So yeah, um, Bernice, you're, you're just going to see Bernice popping off like crazy. So yeah, um, we have Grace, of course, with the shock. And if the enemy is shocked, they do more damage. So yeah, you could just probably put two and two together to see just how much damage they're able to do. Um, ben right now um, for this team is basically a flex spot. Um, he's probably not going to do as much in this battle. It's just going to be like all Grace and Bernice's uh, work. So yeah, all right, let's just get this started. Okay, we're gonna be doing the charge right here. And now we switch in, there we go. We can go into Shocked. Uh, since my Grace is M2, by the way, yeah, she is M2. She is able to get more um, electric uh, res shred uh, for her grenades. So we are able to get free Shocks, as you see there. Um, we can, of course, go into Ben. Let's go into Flamethrower. We can get some more fuel. All right, there we go. Um, let's do this. That should be perfect dodge. Nice. We can go in again. All right. We have some grenades right there. Free shock. All right, let's go into flamethrower. There we go. All right. We can go into grace and then Bernice again. And this should finish him off right here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, even if he, uh, even if the enemy is resist to fire, um, she just does so much damage to the point where it doesn't really matter if they resist it. She's just way too good. So yeah, all right. So I am going to be going into Ben right here. There we go. And uh, we can go into this. Um, let's go into Bernice. There we go. All right, that should be good enough. We got the afterburner effect on her. Um, we're gonna be doing shock. There we go. Easy peasy. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's dodge. Um, we're probably- I'm probably just gonna wait until he's stunned. That should be, like, the best play here. All right, we're gonna be doing this. Kablammo. There we go. Um, and he should be almost done. Uh, let's just, uh, keep the pressure up and, uh, let's get him stunned right here. All right, so, um, I am gonna be doing this so we can get some fuel back. There we go. Alright, we go Grace. We go into Bernice. Let's do ult right there. It's going to be doing so much damage. And we can switch into Grace. And there we go. Yeah, as you see there, look at that disorder damage. It's busted. It's super busted. Bernice is built different. Literally built different. She's just way too good. Alright, we're going to be going into this again. There we go. Alright, let's... Um now we got have we just have to have Grace do her work, so we're gonna be doing some perfect dodges right here. All right, time to focus actually, and get some uh, shocks in. All right, Bernice is about to run out, so we are going to be going into Bernice and get some flamethrowers in. All right, let's do it again. All right, there we go. She's full, so now we can just go into charge. There we go. All right, he's shocked. Pretty great. Okay. He should be... I think he should be close um, to getting, um, I think, burned or shocked. It really... It doesn't matter what comes first as long as we're able to uh, just do it. All right. We're going to be doing it again. Let's get some flamethrowers in. There we go. We're going to Grace again. Yeah. As you see there, they just do so much passive damage. All right. Bernice into Grace. Into... Uh, well, we could go safety. Are going to be swapping to Bernice, and this should finish him off for good. Yeah, look at that damage! It's so busted. Yeah, um, as you see there, um, even when the boss resists a uh, well, the uh, attribute in the question, the uh, fire, since it is going to, since he is have uh, taking gray numbers against it, um, it still performs really well. I mean, he's taking so much passive damage. Um, let's finish him off right here. He should be finished. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yep. Um, even though it was kind of scuffed right there, um, I still showcase just how good Bernice is, even with, um, the, uh, resistance to fire, uh, that the boss has. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um, that is, uh, Bernice really, really, really busted, as you see there.
um, really nothing to be said. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um, now it's time to uh, showcase Bernice and other teams. So I'm going to be showcasing her, of course, in her own faction, Sons of Caledon. So uh, let's just uh, showcase her there. All right, so here we are with another challenge. So I'm going to be showcasing the SLC team or the Sons of Caledon team. So I'm going to be showcasing, first of all, um, another anomaly team. Yes, it's, it's just going to be SLC, but with uh, Piper. So yeah, uh, we're going to be replacing Lucy right here with uh, Bernice. So we're able to put her in the back line. And then we have Piper right here, of course, as our Disorder uh, character. So yeah, so um, as you see there, it's basically just like the Jane team. It's it's literally a carbon copy of the Jane team. Um, it's just that you replace Bang Volver with uh, the SOC Bang Boo, Red Mocus. Um, Red Mocus is extremely good if... Um, there are multiple enemies on the field and since um, this commission has well Multiple enemies. Um, it's going to be extremely good for us in the long run. So yeah, um, we're going to be going into um, the SOC team again um, uh, It's basically the same performance. I would say to the Jane team It's just that Piper is going to be much weaker than Jane um, since Jane uh, does get do like guaranteed crits on assault uh, Piper doesn't. So yeah, uh, you're probably going to see Piper do low damage on her end, but still, um, she still just is like extremely good in general. She is Anomaly. Anomaly is the meta currently. So yeah, uh, she just fits it so well. All right. We're going to be seeing Piper pop off. So yeah, get ready for that. So, um, of course we're going to be going to Bernice. There we go. Um, we should be able to do some afterburner damage right there um we're going to be going into caesar caesar uh has a lot of impact so it's going to be pretty great for us to just as you see there parry uh that is extremely extremely good um bernice is about to run out of her fuel okay she is out of fuel so we can just um let's go to piper actually all right we go caesar and then we can go bernice i think bernice should be able to just uh, fuel up right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, she's not full though, uh, which is unfortunate, but I think we should be fine here. All right. Let's just see the enemy right there. All right. It's the big robot. I'm going to make, um, I need to make him attack me. Uh, so we're able to just get the, uh, shield for, um, Caesar. So let's see. There we go. All right. Now we can trigger her, um, Disc set right there. Um, now we can just do this. There we go, and we can do the afterburner thing. We can go into uh, we can go into uh, well, Piper and do some power stack shenaniganery. But yeah, look at that! Look at that damage! It's busted, busted right there. No, no need to stun the enemy. Super busted um character. Yeah, really nothing for me to say there. All right, so I am gonna be doing this um just for the precaution. And I'm going to be doing this, of course. It should give us some more. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's parry right there. Alright. We got our shield back. Pretty great. Um, we're going to be doing this again. There we go. You get increased impact for that. So it is really um, important that we are able to do that. Alright. Uh, let's do this. There we go. All right, let's go into um, the flamethrower again. We need to get her fuel back, so yeah. All right, let's do the uh, this right here. Even though um, the enemy is resistant to physical, um, the main purpose of it is to just get um, a bunch of uh, disorder stacks in so that Bernice is able to pop off. All right, we should be able to do one more parry right there. There we go. All right, let's go Bernice. Let's go Caesar. Ingo Piper at the end. And then we're able to go Bernice again. Able to get some fuel stacks in. There we go. Alright. Now we can go into Piper. Let's see how much damage she does right there. There we go. Easy peasy damage. Yep. Look at that disorder damage. Really, really busted right there. And there we go. Uh, easy peasy. Uh, yeah. Um, as you see there, uh, busted. Uh, but there's really nothing for me to say. I mean, what, what more can I say? It's just, 
it, she's just busted. <laughs> All right. So, um, well, uh, that is it for the anomaly characters aside. Um, now it's time to actually showcase Bernie's and some solo teams. So we do have two more teams to showcase. So, uh, well, uh, let's just uh, cut to that. All right. So, um, well, I'm going to be showcasing the SLC team again, but this time it's going to be, uh, well, the team that I sh uh, showed before, it's going to be just Bernice Lucy. So Lucy is extremely good since she does give attack to all party members, and since she is at M6, um, as long as we're able to hit an EX, which is all the time since Bernice is going to be doing that anyway, regardless, we are able to basically just get the M6, um, well, the boar to show up and do massive fire damage. And also, since Lucy is fire, we're able to just get more fire anomaly buildup, which means more burn damage. Yep. That's basically it. All right. Let's just get this started. We're going to be showcasing how good Bernice is in her own uh, Sons of Caladon team. So, of course, we're going to be going in for the uh, burner. I'm, I'm going to be going for the uh, parry, of course, if he is able to let me do that. All right, never mind. I guess he won't. Yeah, I think he only does. I think he does red attacks a lot. Yeah, I don't think he loves to just uh, do yellow attacks that often. All right, let's do this. There we go. We're able to get it back. Um, I think we should just keep wailing on him. There we go. All right, Lucy into Bernice. Um, let's just do this. I think this should finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can go into uh, Caesar again, um, but I'm not gonna be going into Caesar just yet. Um, I'm probably just gonna, yeah, I'm probably gonna let him uh, do an attack on me so I can parry it, which I think is going to be after this attack. Yep, there we go. And then now we can trigger her um, set. Let's go into Lucy right here. We are able to swap two. Uh, oh, never mind. I guess it didn't hit. So. All right, we're gonna be going to Bernice again. Went to flamethrower, kablammo, and we're able to go into. Um... All right, let's parry there. There we go. So much damage. All right, we're going to be destroying her right here. So let's go, Caesar. Yep, there we go. Easy peasy. Yep, the robot just died instantly. Um, yeah, but uh, that's what you're gonna typically see for uh, Bernice. The enemy's just gonna be melting into uh, pieces and you're just able to do like a ton of damage. So yeah, really nothing for me to say there. All right, let's go into Lucy Charge. We're able to swap to Bernice for free. We're able to do some flamethrower shenaniganery. There we go. All right. Um, I am going to be uh, fishing for the... Um, I'm gonna be fishing for the parry right here. There we go. All right, uh, we're gonna be doing this again, and then I think we should do it one more time if he's able to attack us right here, which I hope he does. There we go. Okay, now we trigger the four piece set for Caesar. Um, we got Proto in. All right, we're able to just do two of these. All right, we could go into flamethrower again. Yeah, but as you see there, it's just your typical rotation um, for this team for the most part. You just do Bernice, and then you just do uh, Caesar, uh, and then you just occasionally use Lucy from time to time to do some damage. But uh, most of the time, Bernice is going to be off-field doing her damage right there. So yeah, as you see there, look at that. 19k per hit. Uh, 21k you saw there. Really, really busted. Let's do the parry right here. Alright, we're going to be finishing this off in style, so let's do the burst. Ultimate! <laughs> there we go! Yeah, really, really, really busted. Um, Bernie's is just on a league of her own. So, yeah. Well, anyways, now we have one more team left to showcase. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's just showcase that team. It's going to be a very, very uh, wacky team, to be sure. So, uh, well, let's just... Uh, go to it right now. All right, so I have one more team left to showcase here. So um, what I mean by uh, this team to be solo, I mean by, uh, well, not Bernice being a solo agent since she is going to be in the back line most of the time. I'm talking about the main DPS. So um, since she does uh, pair up with Caesar, you're able to get other options like, uh, yeah, 
So we're gonna be showcasing Corin at her full glory. Since uh, Corin is uh, just basically going to be hogging most of the uh, time, you can use Bernie's to occasionally just like sneak in an additional like attack or two. But for the most part, um, well, for solo team, I meant, uh, well. Corin is going to be the soloer. Since um, Corin's going to be doing most of the damage here, we're going to be choosing Bang Volver. That's going to be our best Bang Boo. So, you know, without any further ado, let's just showcase just how good this team really is. Of course, you can just replace someone um, like uh, Corin with like something like Nekomata or like Billy or something like that. Um, but uh, I don't have uh, Nekomata and I don't have Billy fully built yet, but Billy is extremely good. Uh, don't get me wrong. But um, I just only have Corrin fully built at the moment, so we're just going to be showcasing just how much uh, damage Corrin's able to do. Alright, um, let's just um, let's just go into Afterburner. There we go. Alright, we're going to be waiting for the parry right there. Alright. We're just going to need some energy right there. Alright, we got energy back, so now we're able to put the shield up. Pretty, pretty nice. Alright. Let's do flamethrower. That should get the stun right there. All right. Let's go, Caesar. Let's go, uh, Corin. We're able to see just how much damage you're able to do. All right, Kablamo. Yeah, look at that. It's so busted. He just died instantly. No, no second sec cycle needed. Um, for the most part, you're just able to do just so much damage. All right, we're gonna be going for the uh, charge. And then going into the flamethrower. That make basically makes it full. Okay. Let's just do the parry right here. Alright. Uh, we're gonna be going Corrin EX. Yeah. Um not nothing to be said there. I mean, yeah, uh, you saw the damage, right? <laughs> so yeah, um there is a uh, Corin uh, busted, 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 busted. So yeah, um Bernie's just makes any team work as long as you know uh which teams could pair up with which and as long as Bernice is able to do her stuff, aka just afterburner um damage. So yeah. Well, anyways, um that is it for the team showcases. It's now the uh time to showcase her in some hard content so we're gonna be going into hollow zero and we're gonna be showcasing bernice there all right so here we are in hollow zero so um i'm gonna be choosing blitz mode for um withering garden of course because it is the hardest uh, hollow zero mode i'm not gonna be choosing any of the uh debuffs right here and the ether activity and that's because we need to showcase bernice at our maximum potential so yeah well, um, there are multiple ways to go about this Bernie showcase, but the team I'm going to be focusing on today is her and her alone. Um, that way you're able to just see just how much Bernice is able to do, um, basically kind of solo-ish. So yeah, um, we're going to be going into Bernice Lucy because that is, um, currently, uh, Bernice's best solo team. Um, as for her best team in general, as I said before in the first team I showcased, in this showcase video, it's it's Jane, Bernice, Caesar. Yeah. Uh, so, um, we already know how broken that is, and you already know how broken Jane is, so really no need to talk about that. So, um, I'm gonna be choosing the Rocket Boo because you're able to get more fire attribute bonus. So, yeah, it's gonna be better than Red Mocus in this case, um, because Bernice is just gonna be doing all the damage here. So, yeah. Well, without any further ado, let's just, uh, tackle this, uh, Hollow Zero with this team. So, yeah. Um, since we are just using SOC, SOC is just really, really good. Syncs up together really well. Um, Bernie is able to just do a bunch of damage. Caesar's shield, of course, and as well as Lucy's attack. And also, um, because of that, she's able to just get more stuff. We're going to be choosing the duel right here. Duel affects all of them. So yeah, we're going to be gathering them right here. This should be able to get at least one of them on the afterburner state. There we go. All right, we're able to just do like a bunch of damage right there. Look at that enemy deleted already. Okay, um, I think we do have some more we can go for. Yeah, right here. Let's just do it. There we go. Caesar, and that should kill him right there. Yep. Uh, we do have the shield though, which is pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna be going to fuel her up. There we go. Look at that! Look at how easy she's able to delete the enemy right there. It's super, super, super busted. Alright, um, we're going to be going for, um, this perfect assist. 
uh, since we're going to be doing that a lot. Um, assault or Onslaught, I don't think we don't need that. Um, we're going for the EX, yeah. Alright, uh, let's just move on ahead. Oh, they're giving us the Hottie! Really, really good since we are going to be um, parrying a lot. Um, parrying is going to be um, really, really good against the Hati because it's able to break its armor more efficiently. Alright, now we just need to do it one more time, I'm pretty sure. There we go. It's armor broke, and now we're able to follow up, so let's just do this. Um, we can go into Lucy. Alright, let's go into the flamethrower. Kablamo! Yeah, um, really nothing for me to say. It's just super, super busted. We're choosing Duel. Duel just helps um, Caesar a lot, so we are going to be choosing Duel for the most part. Um, we're going to be choosing the um, assist follow-up damage. Yeah, why not? All right. All right, we got a good parry right off the start. Really, really nice. Okay, um, we're going to be choosing Lucy here because we're able to just get the, um, the uh, pigs in. There we go. The boars. All right. Let's do the charge. We're going to get some afterburner effect. All right, we're going to be choosing um, ultimate because we're able to just do this. The damage, we can switch into Caesar for free. And yeah, there we go. Just massive, massive, massive damage right there. All right, let's do parry. Nice. We could go Bernice into Caesar, into Lucy. And then we're able to just charge up again. It's just free damage for us. Look at this. Look at this damage. And you're telling me she's not busted? Look at that. Really, really awesome damage. Alright. Okay, so there is the um, the Sword and Shield guy, Gondalahan. Um, now we just have to deal with um, the Hati. Alright, let's just do this. Alright, we're gonna be doing the flamethrower thing because uh, she is pretty low on fuel. So yeah, we can just go that. We're gonna be saving her ult for later. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna be just having Bernice and let's go Caesar. And then Lucy right there. Kablamo. Easy peasy. Yeah. A really, really busted damage overall. We're going to be choosing Ignite. Um, because we're able to just get a lot of fire damage bonus increases. So yeah. Really, really good for us. Okay. Really, really nice. Alright. Let's go to the next battle. Shall we? Um, hopefully we do get a boss that is weak to fire, because if we don't, then we're basically screwed. <laughs> so, yeah, um, hopefully, uh, we do get a boss that is weak to fire. Okay. We're choosing duel again. It helps, um, Caesar. So, uh, that is why I choose duel. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have a brooder. Okay. We just get the free parry. Let's do this. Alright, that's free. We could go this. There we go. A free parry right there. And we could go Bernice into Lucy. We can go into Flamethrower again. Kablamo. Easy damage right there. Yeah, um, as you see there, uh, Bernice is just really, really busted. Um, yeah, really nothing really to say. I, I keep saying it over and over again. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm I'm serious. I'm literally serious when I say that that is just super, super broken. Like, absolutely busted. All right, we're going to be choosing the duel. Duel just um, makes it easier for us to stun the enemy with Caesar. So, yeah, pretty, pretty nice. All right, um, since the buff is about to end, we're going to be choosing that. All right, let's do the charge. And we can go into the double flamethrower. All right, we can um, also make him attack right there. There we go. We got the um, proto four-piece set kicking in. And this should get him stunned right there. Yep. Bernice into uh, Caesar. And I think we're able to yeah, get Lucy for free. Yeah, and then there we go. Yeah, but as you see there... Um, the burn damage is just insane. It's super, super, super insane. Alright. Um, we're gonna be choosing, uh, the build-up increase. Uh, it's either this or we choose the energy, uh, which, uh, generates a energy. You know what? Yeah, sure. Well, let's do the energy since we're gonna be doing that a lot. Um, let's go energy again. Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's not resistant to, um, fire, thankfully. Alright, let's do the afterburner. There we go. We can go into double flamethrower. 
and we can go into Caesar. If he does attack, of course. Alright, that's uh, good enough, so we can just do this. Uh, get the shield back up. Let's do double Lucy EX, since we are going to be getting that really, really fast anyway. There we go, let's do double Flamethrower. And then we can go back into Caesar. Alright, let's do the parry. Easy peasy. Right now we're just going to be doing our uh, chains right there. Lucy into Bernice. We're going to be going into Lucy again, into Bernice. And then we do the ult. It means free Caesar switch in. And we're able to just do like a bajillion damage. Look at that. 49,000. You see that 49,000 per um, afterburner damage? That is really busted. That's that's almost 50k and remember she's not like fully maxed out so yeah um she can just rise up even further than before all right we're gonna be choosing uh the ex so we're able to switch to bernice for free we're gonna be doing this get some um burn damage in there we go now we're able to go into caesar free free parry for us all right let's go into lucy again all right bernice Go into a double flamethrower. There we go. Alright. Uh, he is at 75 uh, stun, it looks like. Okay, we're able to just finish him off right here, I think. Okay. And one last one for the... One last one, Lucy. There we go. Alright, let's do Bernice into Lucy. We're able to go into Bernice again, into Lucy again. <laughs> To just to refresh the buff. Alright, we're gonna be going to double flamethrower. Kablammo, let's go into ult. Do insane damage right there. Alright. Um, and then let's just uh, do as much damage as we can. Look at that burn damage. Busted. Alright. Alright, we got the parry in. Nice, nice. Alright, let's do double Lucy EX. All right, let's do double flamethrower right there. Yeah. Um, as you see there, the um most of the rotations you're gonna be doing is like um Bernice double flamethrower, because Bernice double flamethrower um builds up her anomaly very very um fast, and of course it also builds up her uh fuel state or her um like uh burn state. So yeah, it's extremely extremely good that you want to fish for the uh double uh double flamethrower. Because it's an extremely, extremely good move to just throw out. All right, we're gonna be choosing uh, duel. Right there. Oh, we got uh, Caesar's Mindscape Cinema. Really, really nice. It means that we're able to just switch in for free without using um, a shield, which is really, really nice since we are gonna be probably just using uh, Bernice for the most part. So yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what Rizonia we get. Okay, we get Ignite. Really, really nice. Do we get another one? Uh, we don't. Um, let's use, let's just do this one. All right. Okay, so, uh, there we go. As you see there, we got the free, uh, the free shield up now. Um, let's do this. Let's build up some more. There we go. And then now we can just, uh, hyper focus on, um, Caesar. There we go. All right. Lucy into Bernice. That should be good enough. Right there. Double flamethrower. I can go into Caesar. Yeah, but um, for the most part, uh, that's what we're just going to be going for. We're just going to be going for parries, and then um, we're going into uh, Caesar, of course. Alright, there we go. We got the parry in. He's at 82. Okay, we are basically close to just um, getting a bunch of our damage in. Alright. Okay, the shield is blocking all of our stuff really nice. Oh, she's so low. Um, we just gotta wait for her to come down, though, because we just uh, dodged at the wrong time. There we go. Okay, Bernie is into Caesar. Into Lucy. Into Caesar. I, 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 I'm pretty sure. Yeah, into Lucy. There we go. Go back. Go into Bernice. Go into Caesar again. Look at that damage. Ridiculous damage right there. Um, super, super busted. 
Oh boy, that assault damage and that disorder damage, absolutely crazy. All right. Okay, we're gonna have to relaunch Lucy's EX in a moment. So, um, well, let's just do that. Relaunch it. Oh, that didn't hit anyone. We need it. We need Lucy's EX to hit. There we go. Okay, now we can go into double flamethrower. All right, there we go. All right, we need the parry right here. There we go. Easy. Um, we could go into EX. I'm pretty sure she. Oh no, she's doing the um, she's doing this phase where she goes upside down and shoots a bunch of projectiles. Um, this phase is really annoying since it does waste your time. But, um, I think we should be fine for the most part. Uh, we're just gonna be dashing around, dodging everything that we can. Yep, right there. So, yeah. Um, I think that, uh, the, um... I think that, uh, she... She shoots, I think, around, like, five stages of projectiles. So, I think this is her second, um, thing. Alright, we're gonna be using EX to replenish our shield right there. Um... Having EX ready on hand is extremely important, especially if you're fighting this boss in uh, Hollow Zero. Because look at this. Look at how much projectiles she's shooting. It is ridiculous just how much uh, projectiles she shoots. Look at that. Look at that. It's it's ridiculous. It's basically a Toho game. It's a Toho game. Alright. Let's get some dodges in. Alright, we're about to run out of shield, so let's just do this again. There we go. All right, let's do double EX. There we go. All right. We got the dodge in, so now we can just go and double flamethrower. All right, let's do EX right there. Okay, Bernice. Um, into Lucy. Uh, into Caesar. Let's do EX again into Bernice. And let's do, uh, ultimate? This should finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Look at that damage. Ridiculous damage. Uh, burning everywhere. Um, you get the idea. It's just really, really, really busted. So, yeah. Well, anyway, so um, that is it for the Hollow Zero run. It's now time to showcase Bernice at her max damage potential. So, we're going to be going into the VR mode and we're going to be showcasing just how much damage Bernice is able to do with Afterburner. So, uh, well, without further ado, uh, let's just go into uh, training mode. Alright, so here we are in the uh, training mode uh, agent selection screen. So, um, this is going to be the team I'm going to be rocking with. So, we're going to have Bernice, Caesar, and Sokaku. Uh, well, you might be wondering, why not Lucy? And that's because Lucy only gives 600 attack. So Kaku gives 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. You don't even need to level up core in order for her to reach 1,000. So yeah, that is, uh, well, going to be extremely, extremely high compared to 600. So that is why I put Sokaku in. And besides, Sokaku doesn't need her additional ability because it literally only increases ice damage bonus. That's literally it. And since uh, Lucy only gives her crit rate crit damage on boars, yeah, uh, might as well go for the higher attack boost for Sokaku. As for the other two, um, we have Caesar right here. Um, keep in mind that she doesn't have her core maxed out right here, um, so she doesn't get the 1,000 attack. She can, she's only able to give 650 attack for Bernice, but it's still going to be more than sufficient enough for her for the showcase. And of course, I got Bernice here. I already showcased my build with her. So yeah, well, without any further ado, it's time to test out her damage um, off-field and, of course, with her EX, since her EX is going to be doing a lot of damage. And of course, her ult. Her ult, of course, is going to be doing a lot of damage as well. So yeah, well, anyways, um, let's just cut to the uh, training mode and let's just see Bernice's max damage. Alright, so here we are in training mode. So I'm going to be just showcasing just how much afterburner damage Bernice is able to do. So that means that we're just going to be standing still for most of the time. We don't need to do any fancy stuff like parrying or um, whatnot and stuff. We don't have to do dodge attacks and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to be choosing the... Uh the uh, far booty because he is a big body enemy we're going to be uh, disabling his movement we're going to make him level 70 right there and we're going to be having unlimited uh mostly unlimited energy i guess um for these uh agents so we're going to be doing this 
There we go. We have max energy, so now we can disable it. So we have realistic numbers, basically. All right. So um, I am going to be getting the three vortex stacks first. So let me do this. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So now we can actually fight this thing normally. So let's just uh, enable. Um, because we do need the um, the parry for uh, Caesar. So let's just uh, get the parry in. There we go. Let's get the shield. And now we can go into Sokaku. I can go into Bernice. Let's just do this. That should be able to just get all the fuel damage right there. And now we can see how much damage he's able to do on um, Afterburner. So let's just see just how much damage. Alright, 10,000 it looks like. Um, if we keep this up, I'm pretty sure it's going to be more. So um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. We just got the burn damage. Uh, we can go into Caesar again. Okay, 16,000 it looks like. That is her max damage. Let's see uh, her double flamethrower. There you go. Um, that's how much damage her double flamethrower is. Okay, so yeah, 21k it looks like. That is her most consistent damage it looks like. Of course, you could probably uh, make it more. Um, but, uh, well, that is my max damage, uh, well, Bernice with EX included. So, yeah, um, 21k, uh, per off-field damage is extremely, extremely good. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um, that is it for the, uh, Bernice max damage. It, she's just really, really good. And, well, um, to close off the showcase, it's time to, well, talk about her build one last time. It's time to talk about her kit and give you my overview and final thoughts on her. And here we have Bernice White, the drink mixer of the Sons of Caledon and also the fuel expert for the Sons of Caledon. So yeah. Well, anyways, enough about me uh, rambling and enough, enough about me uh, talking about the uh, character in story. It's time to talk about her skills, her Mindscape Cinema, and give my final thoughts and opinions on her. So without any further ado, uh, let's just get this started. So her core, busted. Uh, it's really, really, really broken. So, uh, she basically accumulates heat. Um, when you, uh, get 50 heat, you enter the nitro fuel cocktail state. Once you do that, you're able to apply scorched on the enemy as long as you do a charge basic attack, uh, which is right here. EX, chain, or ult will get you the scorched effect. Once they are at the scorched effect, you will trigger afterburn. Um, and after triggering afterburn, you expend 8 heat. You expend 8 heat per um, afterburn. And once it is at 0, you have to basically reapply heat again. Which is very easy. Um, all you have to do is literally do EX to get heat back. Which is really, really, really simple, really. So, yeah. Um, and also, of course, her core literally gives her energy regen. So it's pretty easy to get back as well. She also gets 350% of fire damage if you do afterburn based off of Bernice's attack, which is extremely important for her to have high attack because she's just able to do more damage. She also gets uh, fire anomaly buildup as well, 350%, which is really, really good. Um, she also has a another effect where uh, for every 10 AP you have, you get a 1% increase uh, damage for afterburner up to 30%, aka just having... 300 AP. So, um, yeah, her core is really, really broken. It means that she's just able to just do a ton of off-field damage. Um, and of course, um, since she is doing off-field damage, she works great on disorder teams. You don't really need to uh, fight for off on field time. Like for Jane, for instance, as I, I'll give an example, Jane really wants to be on field. Um, Bernie's plays well with Jane's playstyle because she doesn't need to be on field. So, yeah, you can just have uh, Bernice do some fire damage in the background while doing her own anomaly buildup while Jane just does all the damage on field and you're able to trigger disorders easily. So yeah, as for her additional ability, it's something that you really, and I mean really want to go out for. So when you do charge EX, intense heat stringing method, or um, the other um, intense heat stringing method for her EX, uh, you double shot an enemy uh yeah so basically you could just do uh basically any of these so you can just do charge you can do um as you see here charge you can do some basics you can do EXs um you could do the uh double flamethrower 
And if you do that, um, you're able to get fire anomaly buildup of 65%. And also, any squad member um, applies burn, aka you're just going to be doing that a lot since Bernice is going to be off field and all your basics are just going to be doing damage. You're able to extend that duration by 3 seconds. Busted. Yep. And also, um, you can also do it after afterburner effect triggers, aka her core. So not only that, you're just going to be doing a ton of damage. So yeah, um, it's really, really, really busted. And uh, since all, all your other teammates are going to be uh, doing the Scorch status effect anyway to trigger Afterburner, it's free. Free 65% Fire Anomaly buildup, free burn duration. Yep, really nothing for me to say there except that your burns are going to be lasting longer and you're going to be doing more damage and triggering more burns. And uh, well, more burns means more disorder damage for your other anomaly agents. Yeah, really nothing for me to say there. Um, as for her important skills, of course, um, we have her EX. Her EX is extremely important um, for her core. She's just able to just increase all her fuel um, right there, which just gives her more heat, which is really, really nice. Um, it also does insane damage, by the way. The scaling of this thing is absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, you can literally just have her be an EX button spammer, just like the Komada, and yeah, you're just going to be seeing a ton of results. Um, since you are going to be using um, EXs a lot to get fuel, um, and also to just trigger the um, uh, afterburner effect on her. Um, you also want the basic attack of Mixed Flame Blend. Um, when you do that, you're able to just uh, consume heat to basically apply the Nitrofuel Cocktail State on the enemy and uh, scorch them. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, also, you want to level up her chain as well. Chain and ult do the same thing. It literally tells you right here. Basically, uh, consume uh, a lot of fire to just do fire damage. It's pretty simple, really. So yeah, these three are really, really important to level up. As for the other two, not so much, really. I mean, uh, you can, if you want to, if you're just going to be running like main DPS uh, burnies or something, you can run dodge. You are going to be dodging a lot anyway, um, especially if you are just using her as main DPS. Main DPS is one to dodge a lot anyway, and most of the time you might want to counter attack, so maybe you want to, but it's basically a bit of a stretch, uh, of course. Same with assist. Um, you're not going to be using defensive assist as much, especially since most of the time, her best partner is Caesar. So you want to parry with Caesar, not with Bernice. So yeah. Um, but as for the other three right here, EX is probably the most important and then basic chain. They are all really, really good to her kit and they're fundamental. So yeah, it's extremely, extremely important that you should level these three up, of course. But uh, her core is definitely just carrying everything, really, because she just does a lot of damage off field with her core. So yeah. And as for the Mindscape Cinema right here, um, we can talk about these right now. These things are really, really busted. Uh, if you want to make your Bernice like the best possible character possible, um, well, look no further than her Mindscape Cinemas. So MC1 literally increases her heat limit from 100 to 140. It means that you're able to just be on heat for longer. When you enter the battlefield, you get an additional 40 heat. Which means that um, instead of starting with 100, you get the full 140, which is still maxed out, which is really bu busted. Uh, she gets to increase the damage multiplier of Afterburn by 100% of her attack, which means that not only you're going to be doing 300, um, you're not going to be doing like just 30%, you're going to be doing 100. Right here, 100. So that means you're just going to get. 130% of Bernice's attack as afterburn damage. Busted. And also, that's not it! You also get 25% additional fire anomaly buildup from afterburner. Yeah, um, really nothing for you to say there. That's just off of MC1! That's, that's just off of- that's just off of M1. I, I'm stumbling upon my words because of just how broken Bernice is. And as for M2, uh, when you trigger the afterburner effect, you get thermal penetration which stacks up to five times and it lasts for six seconds per stack, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, uh, you, when you repeat it, you just get a uh, duration reset, so you just get the six seconds, really. Afterburn's going to be triggering a lot, so this is just going to be lasting forever anyway. Um, if Bernice or uh, your other characters just trigger the um, afterburn, you, you're able to get pen ratio of 4% up to a max of 20% pen ratio. That's busted. Yeah. 
Um, really nothing for me to say there. Um, M3 and M5 are basically the same thing. Level 2 on both stats right there. Um, level 2 on skills. Uh, M4 just basically uh, makes her become a nuker. So you can just get... A, uh, when you do a EX or assist, you're able to get a crit rate of 30%. And also... Um, the duration of your EX special gets increased by 1, which is really, really busted. It means that you're just going to be doing more damage. Yeah, really nothing for you to say there. And here is her M6. Uh, this is really, really busted. This is just whale territory. So, when you hit an enemy with the double shot EX, aka the double flamethrower, it triggers an additional afterburner, deals 60% of Bernice's attack as fire damage bonus, and it triggers 0 0.5 seconds and it does not consume heat. It does not consume heat. Yeah, busted. Also, when you hit an enemy with an EX special, a double shot again, while the move is active, um, you also uh, could trigger the afterburner effect and you get burn effects that will ignore 25% of target's fire res. Fire res decrease of 25%, busted. And also, uh, there is more. Um, when you do um, the double shot again and it hits an enemy that is burned, um, you trigger an additional burn damage equal to 1,800% of her original damage. This just makes her a nuker. Off field nuker. Yeah. Um, really nothing for me to say there other than, um, well, Bernice is just busted. And as for uh, my final thoughts on her, uh, do you really want me to say it here? Bernice is the best fire agent in the game. Yeah, um, there's really nothing for me to say. Um, she is also competing with Jane as the best anomaly agent in the game because of just how much damage they're able to do. For Bernice, it's off field. For Jane, it's on field. They are both extremely, extremely, extremely busted. And you probably already see a lot of people saying why anomaly is the best, uh, like, type in the game. Yeah. You're seeing why. I mean, I showed you already. Bernice's damage, her capabilities, her off-field damage. Yeah, um, really, really busted. All I can say here is, um, yeah, it's just Bernice. Really, really, really busted off-field damage character. That's all I gotta say. Busted! Fire! Everywhere. <laughs> so yeah. Well, anyways, if you do guys enjoy this uh, Bernice uh, showcase video, this silly showcase video, uh, be sure to support the channel by leaving a like and subscribing. It really doesn't mean a lot um, to me if you guys support the channel. It helps me keep me motivated to make more videos and to pump out content for you guys. So again, um, if you do want to support the channel, thank you guys so much for doing so. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting the channel. Um, as for the comments down below, what do you think of Bernice? you think she's busted? you think she's not? Um, are you going to summon for her now that you've seen the showcase video? Or you're probably going to skip? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I really do want to engage in this discussion with you guys. So it really is appreciated if you do comment down below. So yeah. And as always, thank you guys for watching this Bernice showcase video. And I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.